This video is brought to you by DistroKid. Hi, I'm Ash. Today I'm going to be making... Because this little rip, I could make sad AF. Let's do this. Bring the chords in. Lately, I want you to be happier. I'm going to take the chord progression, but then we're going to move them around. The song is sad already, but can we make it sadder? I'm not doing this by ear. I'm literally just looking up the chords. I want to get that riff bum 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 bum. Just it being slowed down to 150 and then with these chords sounds like extra sad. We love to hear it. So these are the chords. Or let me see if I can get a better second chord. Instead of it going up, I want it to go down more. Yeah, we'll go to E. Ooh, and then have a transitionary. Yes, sad AF. Ooh. Okay, perfect. Why am I crying in the club right now? Is this really what Elenium would do? Elenium from Chicago, now lives in Colorado, did some research, so this definitely needs a guitar. Ooh. My emotion! You know what's not sad? Releasing your music on DistroKid. This means getting your music onto streaming services like Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, Deezer, Amazon, Google, and more. Unlike other services that make you pay per upload, with DistroKid, you pay once a year and you can upload as much as you want. Your 58 track mixtape, upload it all. Only $19.95 a year. And if that's still too much, sign up with my VIP link on the screen and get 7% off your first year. Pog. Speaking of Pog, if you're spending all of your waking hours like me on the streaming website Twitch and have maybe been thinking of streaming yourself, DistroKid will now fast track qualified artists with affiliate status. That's right, you skip the hours of grinding requirements and you start getting paid on Twitch through DistroKid. And then once you start making some streamer friends, you can let them know that they can use your music on their OnlyFans. I mean, Twitch stream without any DMCA because DistroKid is partnered with Twitch soundtrack all the music you upload is automatically safe from dmca now while everyone else is still trying to sell their mixtape on the street you'll be the one getting heard on twitch stream so sign up with my vip link get that seven percent off your first year and thanks again to distro kid for sponsoring the video and keeping my cat thanks distro fed. kid i need riffs give me riffs no no not chords i want i want riffs there it is Let's try that. Let's make it sound extra dope as well. <laughs> Let me get a nice guitar tone. Not exactly where I want it to be either, but. Wait, <laughs> there it is. Got a little bass action going. Let's get some bass in your face. As an artist, Elenium has always been super relatable to me. I watched his sidewalk talk and he mentions that he used to be a barista and burrito maker and I've done that. But even cooler is how he talks about making deeper, more vulnerable stuff after going to a show in Red Rocks in Denver. I love how he's used that inspiration to pioneer a unique blend of live and more introspective music, especially in this party electronic music scene. And rightly so, earning a dedicated fan base because of it. Now, I've never seen him live, but I bet if I did, I would buy Ableton the next day. You know, sometimes making party music all the time is tiring. He even said it himself. People should have the opportunity to be hopeful about themselves and look inward. Basically, there's a time and place for everything. Most of all, it reminds me of me because in the past few years, I've made some awesome accomplishments, stuff that I'm really proud of. I've moved to a new city, met some really awesome people, made amazing friendships, even working on this channel. But at the same time, any job I've held, I've been fired from or have left on bad terms. I've ruined some really close friendships that I've had just based on my poor decision making. And overall, it just feels like I'm never doing enough. Like, I mean, I'm still growing, I'm still dealing with all these feelings, but I always remind myself, I'm so fortunate to have music in my life. It means I take these insecurities and failures and transform it into art. 
reading that Elenium went through similar things helps put things in perspective and inspires me and helps me push through whatever I'm dealing with. If you're feeling some type of way, it's great to even just have music to listen to and be an outlet for that. And Elenium is the GOAT for bringing attention to this. He inspires not just those who listen, but people who create as well. So thanks, Elenium. Alrighty, let's turn this into a drop or something. We start with the drums and we use a dubstep beat, obviously. So it looks like... Oh, but we syncopate it a little like this, as if it's some kind of a futuristic bass thing. We need some of his signature sounds, right? So obviously it's super saws, right? Don't can't, you can't forget the super saws. And that sounds like, you know, like a little. You're supposed to layer the super saws, stack the layers, right? Right? Everybody's making videos about them. Elenium super saws. And that's what everybody thinks, but you cannot, I repeat, you cannot forget the bass. That's the easiest way to get them thick. I'm lazy, so I just used this serum preset. Well, of course, we have a square wave. And just like a mid-range distorted one, too. Oh, and don't forget the little pluck one. And that's just done with an LFO. And I put that on the volume there. Just to give it like the slightest bit of movement. And then if we layer those all together... You gotta make sure you got some sidechain on. And I'm using a volume sidechain. So that's easy. We just put utility onto a group here. And then I just uh, automate that gain there. And now the trick is, the trick is you gotta get that half beat. That first half beat of silence. And it plays along with the drums ever so beautifully. And without it, it would sound like this such a subtle effect and then you make sure you do it on every single drum hit it lines up with every kick obviously you've got to make the lead a guitar real guitars no 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 we're lazy producers we use free plugins like dsk dynamic guitars and then run it through amp and cabinet obviously and you have two layers low one and high one with a little bit longer notes so that they all bleed into one another and then supported by a little pluck lead. Serum guy there. Yeah, at first I was going to find a super EDM vocalist, the John Bellion types, but with pop punk on its way back, Elenium would for sure go for a pop punk vocal. Yep, knew it. So let's find a vocalist. Ah, fine. I'll do it myself. Ooh, and if we're being emo, let's add a super emo piano. And that's it. Here is the full song. When the morning comes, when we see you all we be gone. In the cool light of day, we're a flame in the wind on the fire.
If you like what I'm doing, if you learned something, please like, share, and subscribe to you. It really helps me out. Once again, big shout out to the VIPs on Patreon. Consider supporting me on there. You get tons of goodies like project files, like this one here, exclusive tutorials, and follow me on Twitch. I go live every Monday. Follow me on all my socials. I see your DMs. And uh, that's going to be it. Thank you. So long and good night.